welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Blender. First you want to go and download Blender at blender.org. Now you want to go to the downloads tab. Now you want to go to other devices. And here you can see all your OS devices including Steam. I have a Windows device so I'm going to download that. Wait for that to download. Now you want to open that in your downloads folder. Now you want to go through the setup. I've already got Blender so I'm not going to do mine. Here are the specs for Blender. Pause the video if you want to have a look. I'm going to open Blender now. Here I'm going to open a new general. And here we can see the view of Blender. So I'm going to show you the basic controls of Blender, starting with the middle mouse button to rotate around your view. Press left click to select on objects. You can do the same on the side panel here. You can right click to view all these options. Shift and middle mouse button will pan your camera around. The scroll wheel will zoom you in and out. Pressing the period key will zoom you into the object that is selected. Now you can use your controls to move around it. Press 0 to go into camera view. And press each number on the number pad to view each view. Hold control to see the opposite side of the view. You can do the same by pressing on this panel here. You can view the camera by pressing the camera symbol. Zoom in and out and pan around. Here you can go into orthographic mode by pressing this. And you can go out again. Press G to move around the object. R to rotate. You can press X, Y and Z to rotate, move or scale on that axis. Press R twice to rotate in any direction and S is to scale. Here is the timeline. You can press I to keyframe, scale, location, rotation. Now if I move this here and I go to frame 10, it will go back. So I have to put it back here. Now I have to keyframe it again. Now if I go back to the beginning, I can press space to play that animation. You can move the second keyframe further away and that will make it longer. Press T to change the way it moves. Linear will make it move consistently. If we go back to what we had at before, it will slowly start and slowly stop. Up here we have preferences. Here you can add add-ons, change the render settings and change the controls. To the side here we have the scene view. Here we can change it between cycles and EV. Here we can change the type of video or image and there we can change the output device. Here we can change materials. Here we can switch between wireframe solid, material preview and render mode. Here we can change this to cycles, it will look a bit grainy but it will make the detail better. Here we can change the colour and now if we render the image, we can change it to CPU or GPU if we want. Here if we change it to EV, you can see that it does it almost instantly. If we go here, we can find object mode, edit mode and lots others. In edit mode, we can change the form of the shape. Now the shape looks different and we can move that around. Up here we have different layouts for different things. Here's the layout easy for edit mode. As you can see, the things around it are different. If we go back to layout mode, we can see that there's a timeline at the bottom, but here in modeling mode there is none. If we go to sculpting, 
we can see that it's a bit different. And here if we change to this, we can start to sculpt. We can pull things out, we can draw, we can take away. Here I'm adding some vertices. Here we can see that we're adding vertices. We can also morph if we want to. Here we have the shading tab. Here we can add nodes and change nodes. If I get an emission node and I replace that with this and I connect that up to this, this is going to make it lighter if I change this to pink. Later on you're going to see that that's going to glow. Here we have the animation tab, rendering tab, which is going to show our previously rendered image. Here we have the compositing tab. And here we can add different tabs. For example, the video editing tab, where we can add music and special effects. If we go here, we can change the background, the color and the strength. The strength is the light that is reflecting on. Here we can change the properties of the object, we can move it, we can rotate it, we can scale it. Here we can find modifiers, for example subdivision surface modifier which adds vertices. If I apply this here we can see that there's much more vertices than we had previously. There's also modifiers like mirror modifier and bevel modifier. Here we have vertex, collisions, physics. Here we can change off the overlays. Here we can turn off the gizmos on the side. If we press N, we can turn on the properties side panel on the side here. Also further down, we'll have our add-ons that we've added. If we press G and we hold shift and press a certain axis, for example Z, we will move on every, anything but the Z axis. If we go here and change this to EV mode and we add on bloom, you're going to see that this is going to add a glow effect to our object. We can turn down the threshold, the radius, the intensity. Now I'm going to render out the image. Here we have our final image. You can save it by going to image and save as. Hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time.